What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to focus in on Justin Gaethje's crazy cardio. And in particular, I wanna look at a little clip I saw of him running in the new UFC Embedded, where they were focusing in on exactly what he does for his running routine. I think it's very interesting. I think you guys will find it very insightful. So what I've tried to do throughout the years, what many of you on the channel are trying to do is you're trying to collect information on how to become a better martial artist. And this is something that I spent a lot of time doing, watching the best fighters in the world, seeing what their routines are, trying out the routines, and then whatever worked for me, absorbing it and continuing to use it. And Justin Gaethje has some of the best cardio we have ever seen in the fight game. And we often need to look and see why does this guy have such exceptional cardio? Now it's not always gonna be boiled down to one reason, like there's one exact routine he does. But we can look and see something that he does and try it out. And one of the routines that I've used throughout the years has been hill runs but not super crazy long hill runs, short ones. Now, in this UFC Embedded, we see Justin Gaethje head up a hill, and he runs for 15 minutes from bottom to top. And this is very similar to something I do, and I wanna talk about the benefits of this type of run versus flat and long. Now, my first idea behind hill runs and short ones is it needs to be a grind. It needs to hurt. Because if you've ever been in a fight that's not either going your way or your opponent's really tough or they're in really good shape, it's a grind. And there's a mental battle to it. And if you pull back, you give the edge to your opponent. So getting on the hill, heading up and getting halfway through and having your legs just start to sizzle. And then once your legs start to sizzle, your heart starts to pump. And then you get even further up and your body just wants to stop on you. When you have that type of situation, you are helping to recreate the fight. And that is one of the reasons I think Justin Gaethje is on the right track, obviously he is, but it's one of the reasons that I like the run that he's doing and I wanted to share it with you guys. Reason number two that I like his run is we see a little clip of his coach showing that at bottom to top, it's 14 minutes and 30 seconds. He sets a new record. His previous record was something like 15.08. When we look at a fight for him, his average fight, if it's not a title fight, we're talking three five minute rounds, which is 15 minutes, exactly what he's doing for most of his bout. Now this upcoming one is a title fight, so it's 25 minutes, but still you get the similar running point, the similar time to your competition. Now I have a hill literally right here, like I can take about 30 steps and I'm at it. And this has been one of my running routines for such a long time. And from bottom to top, if I'm going fast, is about seven, eight minutes, which again for me is about the right time for a non-title fight in the kickboxing world. That's me pumping from bottom to top. If I ease back a little bit, it's more like nine or 10 minutes. And this is exactly what we want. We want to recreate the fight time. Now this does not mean that the nine minutes is the only thing I do. Obviously I need to do a warm up jog. Usually I'll do some warm up sprints just to make sure my heart rate's elevated before I start that hill work. And then when I'm done, I might add in something else, but really the bread and butter of the whole routine is that nine minutes going up the hill because it's recreating the length of the fight. And as we already said, it's recreating the difficulty of the fight. The third reason, which Justin Gaethje's coach points out that hill runs are so fantastic and something that I've thought for a long time and agree with, is you're less prone to get injured when you're running hills. When you run on flat, at least for me, anything over five kilometers, my hips, my knees, my shins, my feet, they all take so much impact that by the next day I'm going, well, I don't wanna do another one of these runs for a week. But I can go out and do a hill run every day of the week. And because like we said, the incline is so steep, we don't need to run as far. So we can go and do a two kilometer hill run and get a crazy hard workout. Whereas if we're on flat, two kilometers is not great. And we have to probably, you know, double that, triple that, quadruple that. It doesn't really have the same difficulty level. But overall, for me, the big thing is less injury, less impact on the body, more longevity, for my career and less chance that the day after I'm gonna have injuries which are just gonna slow up my training. Hill runs, Justin Gaethje is doing them. 
He's doing them very similar to the routine that I've ended up adding in throughout the years. And I think it's fantastic when we see some super high level UFC fighters doing runs that are not 10 kilometer runs, that are not that slow drawn out pace, but the mean grind climbing up a hill. When you can do that, I think you're on the right track to getting that stellar cardio. And some people I think kind of kid themselves and they're like, no, 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 the long distance is the way to go, but it's not as hard. And if you really want to have your cardio on point, you need to just go, okay, you know what? The 10, 15 minute hill run is nasty. It's awful. I don't want to do it, but I do. Of course, I'd much rather go out for a six, seven kilometer flat run. Aside from the joints being injured, it's much easier but those hill runs are where you're really gonna set yourself up to become a cardio king. And when you have phenomenal cardio, you're gonna be able to outperform your opponent in so many aspects. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, a look into Justin Gaethje's running routine. I don't know if this is the only type of running they do because in the embedded episode, they say every Saturday they utilize this run. So maybe on other days of the week, he's using other runs or maybe he's a strict hill runner. I really don't know, but I wanted to share this with everybody out there and I hope it helps your training routine. I hope it's beneficial. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please give the video a like. If you haven't already, join the channel, get subscribed. Train hard guys. I'll see you back here soon for another video.